What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. You may be asking yourself, well War, why do we got Diablo 3 on the screen? Like why is Diablo 3 on the screen? So today we're gonna be talking about how greater rifts from Diablo 3 came into Diablo 4 with the brand new The Pit mechanic that's being introduced in season four of Diablo 4. So a few things that we're gonna to touch on first is how greater rifts actually work in Diablo 3. For maybe some newer players, players that haven't played or even experienced players like myself, this is just gonna be a refresher. Then we're gonna talk about all the changes that are coming with that new mechanic in season four. So greater rifts were first introduced into Diablo 3. Okay, you can accumulate the greater rifts by getting these uh, coins, or not coins, excuse me, the greater rift keystones, which unlock the greater rifts. Now, how greater rifts work is that you have a tier level, and based on the tier level is how difficult the monsters will be, how strong they will be, and the amount of rewards that you're going to get at the end. Now, the one thing that I will say about the, uh, the pit in season four is that we don't have an empowered rift, which just means that we're gonna make them uh, be able to get additional bonus for all of our legendary gems that we unlock like our Bane of the Trap. We don't have these in Diablo 4, but that is just one small difference. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of showcase. I'm just going to pop in here. I got one Greater Rift Keystone left, so I'm just going to kind of pop in and just talk about a few things. So how a Greater Rift works is that you have this timer, right? You have this timer. There's 15 minutes left in the timer. The idea is to kill as many monsters as you can to get to the end to get all of your bonuses, right? And to kill the uh, Greater Rift Guardian, all right? Which is the boss at the end. So similarly, if we come in here, we have a similar thing, right? The Artificer's Obelisk, which is where we're gonna be doing the pit, battle through the pit of the artis uh, Artificer to earn rewards, defeat the boss to get uh, unique medals. And then to begin, you select a tier. The monsters are gonna begin at tier one. You're going to have these shards, which you can unlock to, to start it up. And then when you go through, you can see that we're going to load in. And you can see it's the same thing, right? This is a 10-minute run. All right, the timer's slowly going. You're going to be killing all the monsters in the pit. And then the mastery is defeating the pit guardian before the timers ends. And then each time that you die, you're going to get a death penalty of 30 seconds, which is exactly similar to how we do things in Diablo 3. Right, if I die, I'll show you guys. Let me just come up here and die for somebody so you can see the progress here. Let me, somebody just kill me. Come on, guys, do a good job. So you can see that my revive is gonna go off. The more times that I revive, then I receive a penalty. So it's, it's pretty self-explanatory when you're going through and doing the pit. It's very straightforward, okay? You're gonna have uh, you know, a timer. You're gonna try to defeat everything. As you notice when you're going through the pit, for some reason my computer is just pausing on a video. That's super weird. Uh, but as you are going through the pit, you notice that nothing is dropping, right? No items are gonna be dropping. This is exactly the same way in Diablo 3, where nothing drops, you're just gonna be killing the monsters. No items are dropping. Um, you're still gonna be able to find shrines in here, which is really, really great. And as you progress through, okay, there is going to be different levels that you can go to. You can see here's the next level of this dungeon, which is the exact same that it works in Diablo 3, where you finish the floor, you get to the end, you just hit the portal, you go to the next, next floor, and you just continue on, right? So I really love that the pit is coming here. And then when you get to the end, you're actually going to have a really, really cool pit boss. So if we can see, like, as the bar fill, fills up, it's a little bit different See, the difference is, is that the Guardian's Lair, this portal just spawns, right? And that's going to take you in to fight the boss. Whereas in Diablo 3, when you fill the bar, the, the like dungeon boss just lands on you and you just fight it like that, right? So let's skip through here. We're going to go into here and fight the boss. The boss is, I think it's just a random boss that we get from normal dungeons, like the Outlaw Sharpshooter. This is a normal boss that just comes. And you can see it's, it's the same level from the dungeon. Uh, that you're doing the pit tier one you defeated that and then this is where things get a little bit tricky and a few things that you really need to pay attention to at the end so just like in diablo 3 as you continue to increase your tiers all the way up to G gr 90 right in diablo 3 greater rift 90 is the cap right that's where you're going to get the most items that you can from the rewards that drop and i think it's 12 
12 or 15. It's something like that. I think it's 12. I haven't played in a while. Now, you notice here that there's one, two, three, four legendaries, right? And then, or excuse me, one, two, three, four. There's five legendaries. You got Coiling Wards, Rawhide, and Iron Chunks. So these are random materials that drop. But more importantly is your Steigen Stones, okay? What these stones are are stones that you're going to be able to collect, which unlock the level 200 uber variants of the boss ladder bosses you do need these stones to get these which is another reason why you're going to be doing the pit okay you get one each time it drops now in addition to this right when you open up the chest when he opens up the chest here you can see that there is just some other items that drop it's these like abducite items now what these items do is i'm gonna skip forward just a little bit these items are what you accumulate Okay, and they're going to be earned from the pit, the pit to do your master working at the blacksmith. You're going to have one, two, and then this rare one if they move the mouse here so you can see. But there's three different ones, and the ones that you get will increase as you continue to go deeper into the pit. So a higher level will give you the more rare ones, and then the even higher levels will give you the, the like legendary ones, right? So you're going to be able, be able to accumulate these. So not only do you need to do the pit, to get the items to go be able to fight the uber bosses at level 200 but you also need to collect these materials which are going to be able to master work craft all of your gear pieces this is very very important so it really gives you a like i need to do these right i like, like there's a purpose for the pit as opposed to like the gauntlet where it's just a time trial and you're just trying to get the best score and you get basically zero rewards for it so blizzard please fix that um but this has multiple purposes so you need all of these items to master craft your your gear which is very important and then on top of that item to go fight the uber variants remember if you guys don't remember you get the uber variants at level 200 once you defeat all five each one drops a shattering stone is it shattering it's shattering it's the resplendent spark excuse excuse me each one drops a resplendent spark which means you can craft one uber unique for free all you got to do is defeat each of the five boss ladders at level 200 and you get one resplendent spark each and you can go make whatever uber that you want to make which is absolutely fantastic you're guaranteed one as long as you go beat them so there's real purpose for the pit i'm very very excited about this and from what the dev said that we do not have a like end game limit like you could just keep going 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 in the pit just go all the way down there's no cap necessarily whereas like in diablo 3 greater rift 150 is the highest that you can go maybe there'll be like a like a like a pit level you can see going to the next floor with the portal which is super cool maybe there's like a level 200 cap i'm not sure we're going to find out because we're really going to test it but these are all the changes that are coming to the pit so there's a real real purpose for this i think this is going to be very very good for all players remember back last season where we had aoz the avatar of zir where we just kind of had this gem and we were pushing and just fighting everything right fighting these super hard monsters to really test our build the pit is where we're going to be testing our builds i'm very happy that they brought this back I know that a lot of players in the past for Diablo 3, you know, they kind of like didn't like the gauntlet or excuse me, the greater rifts, you know, pushing, but that was combined with the leaderboards, which made it very satisfying. Like if you had a build and you were able to do, you know, GR 150 and just dominate it, whether you didn't get the best time or not on it and you just finished it, that was a real satisfying feeling to be able to know, hey, I went and pushed my build to its limits and I have an awesome build, right? So this is gonna be our way to kind of push and test our character in another way, right? Survivability, damage, etc. whereas the gauntlet is just kind of like a time trial. So uh, I'm very, very happy about this, but these are all the changes that are coming to the pit guys and a brand new mechanic in Diablo 4 season four. So I'm very, very excited that these are gonna be here. Remember, you're going to need the Stegen Stones to fight the Uber bosses, which is great. You get all these rewards. Oh, on top of the rewards, as you increase your pit level, the amount of legendaries that drop will increase. That was said at the dev stream. So the deeper that you go, the more rewards that you get. Now, again, don't quote me on this part. I do not know if there's a cap on the items. 
So I think it's really, really cool that they kind of brought in the element of the vaults from this season in season three, because at the end of the vault, you really get enough items to fill up your entire inventory. So I'm curious as to if there's a cap when we get to a certain level in the pit, if how many items we actually get, but we'll be testing that during the PTR. So yeah, guys, this is it. All the changes to the brand new pit mechanic coming in Diablo 4. Like the video, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.